Grasshoppers, time for us to work some knees. Step knee drill, which will turn into the switch knee drill. So, let's pick a stance. We're gonna work both stances with this. I always feel we should have both stances uniform with our system. So, right leg is back, left leg is forward. What I want us to do is throw the rear knee, and then you're gonna step that back once. Left leg goes back, now right leg goes forward for this rear knee. Boom, so you're gonna knee, step, 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 knee. You're gonna make three steps, okay? The first step is the return of the knee. The leg that you're attacking with, I want that leg to go back. So again, right knee, boom. Here's one step as I bring it back. Two step to bring it back. So two steps back, one step forward. Boom. For the next knee. Bam. Now bring that back. So knee, step, 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 knee. Step, 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 knee. Step, 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 knee. Two steps back, one step forward. So again, rear knee. Boom. Step back, step back. Step forward, knee. Step back, step back, step forward, knee. Now the knee itself, so that's the footwork and the, the cadence coordination. The knee itself, I'd like for us to knee forward and up, about 45 degrees. I use that number for most of our stuff. And what I mean by that is I don't want you just to knee straight up here. You can't do that if you have somebody in the clinch or if you're close range, but let's pretend we have some distance, okay? So with that being said, when I throw that knee, watch how I knee out and get the width of my hips into the knee. And you don't need to overly rotate this foot because you know, it's going to be harder to bring it back. So you can just knee, again, 45 degrees, come up on that ball of foot though because that's a source of power. Knee, step, 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 knee, step, 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 knee. So that is the technique and the direction of the knee. Let's talk about the hand placement. I would like for us to have our hands up, hitting that knee. Step, 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 knee. One other thing that you can do is bring the opposite arm that you're attacking from the knee across your face. So if I attack with my right knee, I want my left arm to come across my face. And that's just when you walk, right? When you walk, you swing the opposite arm, so it should be pretty natural for you. So here's the second option as far as protecting your head on the knee itself. Again, bring the opposite arm from what you're attacking with across your face and stick your nose into the crook of your elbow. Boom, step, 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 knee. So there is a form of protection. I know a lot of the, the ties, they like to drop the hands, they do this, and you can, nothing wrong with that. It actually will help your balance because you're kind of just balancing yourself off of that. So if you need to do that at first, go ahead. I just want to make sure you have this cadence down initially, and then start protecting your head, either hands up, or again, bring the opposite elbow across your face so you have some protection, and that was right in front of your opponent. Okay, so this is the step knee drill itself. Now. The faster version, more athletic version, is just making that the switch knee because it's basically the same footwork. So knee, bring it back, switch, knee, bring it back, switch, knee. So that's what it can turn into here. Now here's my hand placement. Now I'm bringing the opposite arm across the face. And I'm still kneeing out 45 degrees, getting the width of my hips into the knee. Whether it's the switch knee, boom, or the step knee. Either one, I prefer for us to have some hand placement and protecting our head, okay? So there's the step knee drill, and then also the actual switch knee drill. Those grasshoppers, enjoy.